All right. Hi. You want to know how I overcame blocks, overcame stuttering blocks. First of all, if you don't know what that is, is like there's a repetition stutter that sounds like repetition. And then there's blocking and there's prolonging too. But blocking is like blocking where you can't even release air and there's a lot of struggle there's a lot of force there's a lot of exhaustion there's a lot of tension there's a lot of embarrassment there's a lot of confusion shame connected to that block i've talked to a lot of people who stutter and they say i wish i had a repetition stutter that way people actually know i'm just people would be able to see him actually trying to talk when they see see, see see me like this versus like this and what i i want to what i want to make clear is that blocking is a sign that you are in even more resistance to your stutter. Most people, most people start with a repetition stutter. Most people start s- 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 stuttering like this. And then over time, with the experiences they frame as negative, as that people judge you, as that this is embarrassing to, s- to stutter, we then build more resistance to to stutter. So when normally a little air would be able to l- 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 leave your mouth, now you're in such resistance to stutter, you're so much more tense. Nothing. There's You're completely locked up. And blocking is a sign that you're in a lot of resistance to your stutter. So I'm going to explain now how I overcame that where I no longer have those blocks. I still do stutter from time to time. Like that wasn't even real, but like you'll notice you like even saying the word notice on the end, there's like a a notice, like there's a little bit of uh, prolongation there. So I still do stutter from time to time, but it doesn't hold me back. It doesn't restrict me doesn't i don't think about it and this is why i help people overcome this as well is because i know the pain of being held back from your stutter the anticipation the fear the the embarrassment that comes from trying to hide your stutter and trying to pretend like you don't stutter and feeling like you're always inferior to other people i know the pain from that this is why i help people speak freely as well like i've helped myself all right um before we get into it i want to just tag on to what i just said because this is very 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 important right now i'm hosting a six week intensive to help people overcome stuttering in six weeks it starts on february 19th so in a few days like when you see this maybe it's a day or two to go until it's until you can start inside of this in inside of this intensive you'll be working with 10 to 15 other people who stutter going through the exact same process that i went through to overcome stuttering and this isn't something you're going to learn in speech therapy speech therapy didn't work for me at all breathing techniques didn't work for me at all speech techniques didn't work for me at all reading out loud all the mainstream shit that people say you need to do to overcome stuttering did not work for me it only put me more in my head only focused more on my stutter only made me hate my stutter more only turned me into a faker version of myself how i overcame stuttering is by facing that fear that's really holding us back the fear of being judged and the fear of being rejected once i was no longer fearing that like you can art you can already speak fine when you're in a room by yourself or speaking to a pet you don't have an issue with stuttering and even if you do stutter from time to time you don't care so it's not the stutter that's an issue
But if you were to stutter in front of somebody you want to impress, guess what? It becomes an issue now. It's, it wasn't an issue before, but now that you care about being seen in a certain way, now that you care about avoiding judgment from this person, your stutter is an issue. So instead of working on the stutter, we work on not caring about what other people think about us. And that is the holistic way to, over, to overcome stuttering. Because once you have a general mindset of carefreeness, it doesn't fucking matter how I speak. I'm still worthy. I'm still worthy of love, respect, ad, admiration. It doesn't matter. I still have a sense of belonging. Even if I stutter, you're going to stop resisting your stutter. You're going to stop thinking about your stutter. You're going to stop being put in these states where you're constantly, every inch of you is playing these mental acrobatics, trying to avoid the stutter. You, you let go of trying, to, of, of trying to avoid it. And once you stop trying to avoid it, it no longer persists because only what, re, only what you resist persists. Once we stop resisting it because we don't care when we do, we don't care when we stutter, that's when you truly overcome stuttering. And in the six week intensive, I show you, I walk with you hand in hand on, on online, of course, hand, hand, hand in hand vir virtually. I show you all the steps that I went through. I guide you through all the steps and I give you everything that I did to overcome stuttering with, and not just me, but the 72 people I've helped overcome stuttering in the past three years as well. They've gone through this exact same process. All right. This is really foundational, authentic stuff. If you want to overcome stuttering holistically and not with tricks, but holistically in six weeks, then this is for you. I do only have a few spots left though right now. And I'm not, I'm not just saying that I really do only have a few spots left because the first intensive I did was a great success. And the testimonials I've, I've posted from that first six week intensive got a lot of, got a lot of people to join in this next six week intensive. So if you're interested in joining my next six week intensive, it starts only in a few days on February 19th, then DM me the DM me the word stutter on Instagram in the comment section down down below or on or on WhatsApp or on or on or on email too and I'll send you all the details of what's included inside of this six week intensive all right all the links to my Instagram email blah 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 is linked down below in the description all you have to do is DM me the word stutter and I'll send you the details all right so let's get into what I was going to talk about. And on, honestly, just explaining the six week intensive gives you great insight on how to overcome these stuttering blocks. Because the more you're blocking, the more resistance you have to stutter which means the more you're thinking about it, the more you're thinking about your stutter, the more you're thinking of how, of how can I not stutter? What words can I say that I, I know I won't stutter on? The more you're playing these games, that the more you're in re, the more you're in resistance to something. Like for a, for a, for example, if you re, like, you don't have to think about something constantly that you um, you don't fear. It's the things that we're constantly thinking about and anticipating and trying to navigate or navigate around is the reason why we do that is because we fear that thing. And we have to learn to stop fearing stuttering, we have to learn to stop fearing that block. And in order to do that, we must change the way we block because of course you don't want to block like this the whole time where you push and get tense and you exhaust yourself. Of course, no one wants to talk like that. 
So we must change the way that we actually stutter, that we actually block, change the way we feel about it. So when it comes up, we are not pushing, we're not forcing, we're not exhausting ourselves. But we feel relaxed. Of course, not completely relaxed or else we wouldn't be, we wouldn't be blocking in the first place, but we must change the way we respond to the blocks. And there's two main ways that we do this. There's by going and getting these going and getting desensitized to the fear of being judged because the reason why there's so much pressure to be fluent and there's so much tension and resistance to stutter is because you don't want to look weird it's because you don't want to be judged it's because you 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 don't want to look stupid and you think that that big block will make you look stupid and because you think that it makes you more in more in resistance to it, which makes the possibility of you looking stupid even come more true because you're trying your best not to not to stutter, which makes you stutter more. So learning to let go of the fear of being judged, learning to face that fear of being judged and seeing that you're fine allows your body to relax in those moments and say, like, fuck it. Even if this person judges me, I'm fine. I don't care. My self-worth isn't, isn't dependent upon how another person perceives me. My self-worth is dependent upon how I perceive myself and what, I, what, what actions that I take. That's what it's judged off of. And there's a, there's a, a progressive way to, over, to overcome the fear of being judged. Of course, you can't overcome it fully, but at least to a large ex a large extent, there's a progressive step by step way that we that we o that we overcome that fear. You can make your own progressive fear overcoming of being judged. Wow, that, <laughs> that came out bad. Or um, inside of the six week intensive, you can follow the exact same one that I did, and the same one that all my clients are doing to overcome stuttering as well. That's the first thing. And the second thing, so the first thing is, is overcoming that fear and facing that fear, feeling safe in face of that fear of being judged, of looking stupid, of being weird. And the second thing is actually the, is actually the physical part about stuttering. It's about changing the way you, changing the unconscious patterns you do when you feel stutters coming up. Like there's a lot of secondary movements sometimes people have. There's a lot of pushing. There's a lot of avoidance. There's a lot of avoidance of eye contact that, that people do when they feel a stutter coming up. All those things are, per, are perpetuating you, make you making this look weird or making you look uncomfortable or, make, or making you look not confident. And we need to re, remake um, re we need to adapt new patterns of how we act when we feel this stutter coming up. One that doesn't make us, one that we think doesn't make us look weird. One that still allows us to feel confident, to feel calm, to feel a sense of belonging. And it's all in how you feel about it. It's all in the, in the, in the way you, you, you think you're being perceived. And if we can change that, for one, stop caring so much about how we're being perceived, that's the first step. We, you can't do the second step, which I'm explaining right now, until you face the fear of being judged and see that it's not bad. Now you actually have control of, of changing your actions. Because if you're still so obsessed about trying to be perceived in a certain way, you're not going to be able to change the way you actually stutter. You're going to be too in your head about this looks stupid. This looks stupid. This looks stupid. I'm not going to, I'm not going to say this word. So once you overcome that fear to a large extent of being judged, you then move on to what I'm explaining now is changing the way you actually stutter. And this is done through consist through consistency of going into those stuttering moments with a new mindset. With a, with, with a new intention and a new way to stutter. One that is comfortable, one that makes you still feel respected, and one that makes you, makes you still feel confident, and one 
that allows you to stutter and overcome that fear of, hey, this actually wasn't that bad because the way I stuttered and that makes all your next stutters die down in, 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 in intensity because you see, hey, even if a stutter does come up, I know I will be able to handle it calmly. So I'm not fearing them anymore. And with those two things jointed, you overcome that fear and you change the way you actually, stu you actually stutter. Why are you in resistance to the blocks? Why are you in resistance to the stutter? You're not, you actually feel good when you do stutter because the way you handle it and it builds your, and it builds your confidence. And again, if you want to work on this, not just like, okay, click off the video and I hope one day I'll, I'll like put this together and do actually overcome my stutter. No, if, if you want to say this makes sense, Chase, I've watched your, I watched your other videos too. It does make sense. I know, you know what you're talking about. I know you face what I faced as I've stuttered a lot in my life and been held back from it a lot. If you, if you trust that and you want to be a part of my next six week intensive, where I go through step by step, everything you need to know to overcome stuttering, not just theory. The theory is like 10% of it, but I bring you through every single action. So by the end of the six weeks, you have taken so much action. You have, you have, you have taken so much action. You have overcome so much fear and anxiety and doubt, and you are going to be the most confident version of yourself you have ever fucking been. That's a, that's a guarantee. Aunt, Honestly, I'll, I'll add that in right, right now to you. If you watch, if you watch this video, if you're not the most confident version of yourself that you've ever been by the end of the six weeks, I'll give you all your money back. All right. That's how confident I am of these six weeks of what's inside of these six weeks, the, the, the actions you'll be taking and the person you will turn into. All right. So. Again, all my socials are down below in the description. DM me the word stutter as soon as possible because there's actually only a few spots left and I will DM you all the, all the, all the details and see if it would be a good fit to work together. All right. I love you and I'll see you on Instagram, in email, comment section, or the, or the other one, WhatsApp. Peace.